All right, kids. We're doing some War of the Spark box openings. I got my case a day early. Probably be a release date before anyone sees this. I'm a Wizard King Jeff from this channel and nothing else. Oh, and cannabis uh, was some kind of cannabis podcast I did. And I appeared on an episode of Joe Goes. If anyone knows what that is. So May 2nd, more spark. Box opening. Now, uh, one thing about Horror of the Spark that I was kind of disappointed in. Um, there is a Planeswalker per pack, but I was hoping there would be, like, um packs where you could get multiple planeswalkers that weren't foils. You know what I'm saying, cameraman? Yeah. Like, we were thinking that there would be... An extra slot. There would be an extra slot for a planeswalker, and then you're on uh, commons, you could still, like, hit three planeswalkers in that slot, you know, or hit a, hit a planeswalker in the rare slot. And then, uh, but that's not the way it is. Um... Pretty much seems like you're guaranteed ooh, Nisa. One nice. planeswalker per pack. Um they still have like the land and token in the Yeah. Like you get one planeswalker in every pack, but you don't get sorry. No, that's I fine. gotta remember what I'm doing. No, you're fine. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't seen one with two planeswalkers in a pack. Unless it's uh, a foil. Now, as you can see, we've got a case here that we're going to be opening, and I've got another case on the way. So, after these are all opened, we will definitely know if that is the case. You have a good, like, variety of it. Yeah, like, <laughs> if we open... I've seen a few boxes opened online. If we get, like, five boxes in, then there's no two planeswalkers in a pack, we know that you're not going to get two planeswalkers. You're not going to have the four planeswalker pack. Which, that's really how that's I wanted... A foil swamp? That is a foil swamp, yes. Nice. Um, time wipe. This card, I think, is really undervalued right now. It's going to be... That's going to be... be uh, once Settle the Wreckage and uh, Cleansing Nova fade out, that's going to be the best removal in standard. Or, best board wipe removal in standard. Don't you agree? Yeah. It's yeah. just it's destroy all creatures, but you get to bounce one to your hand before you do. Yeah, I mean saving your creature. How much is that? Five. Five. It's the same as Cleansing Nova. Yeah, that's definitely. No, that's killer because then it's like all the stuff. It's like minus two or destroy all creatures. Give it. Gotta love Tibble. <laughs> Gotta love Tibble. Gotta love Timmy. <laughs> I actually, yeah, he was. He was one of the. I can't remember if it's like the first or second Planeswalker I opened. Really? Yeah. Or he's the, he was the first one out of draft I ever, I ever opened when he was a two drop. <coughs> yeah, that is a very strong common right now. A lot of people, they do these box openings, they don't show the commons. Um, there's plenty of noteworthy commons. Yeah, especially in black, I've noticed. Yeah, um, I've already sold out all those. Ooh, and look who it is. Nice. His first appearance. Ugin. Ugin's so nice, he almost looks shiny without shiny. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I was disappointed of about uh, uh, this set. But overall, I, I'm, I'm happy with the set. I've, I've made money pre-selling. I pretty much paid for two cases pre-selling, doing auctions on eBay. Um, <clears throat> and uh, ooh, wait, what's that? That looks like some crud. Ooh, we got a misprint. Ooh, where at? It's like on the top there. I don't know if my shitty camera will pick it up. It's another reason you look at the comments yeah. when you do box openings. That's that's some factory damage there, kids. That's that's a premium. Nice. <laughs> on a five cent card so that card's worth like eight cents instead of five cents yeah. yang ooh and a spark double that's a good card ooh. 
Am I doing this? <laughs> Where am I putting shit? <coughs> um, so should we talk about Mythic Edition? The, 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 what happened yesterday with Mythic, oh Mythic Edition? I wanted to cry. Five minutes. It was five. Sold out in five minutes. <laughs> well, no, I don't actually. Oh yeah, I, this this will actually be relevant because I don't think Ben tried to get uh, one yesterday. That's a really good comment. Um, and couldn't. And. Uh, I don't think he knows exactly what happened. I had to piece it together by watching various YouTubers and going to various sites. He's a super good. Um, oh, there's a wrong pile. That's a super good common planeswalker. That card I think is really good. I think that's gonna <coughs> be in some disgusting jank before it phases out of I'm standard. <coughs> I've noticed a couple cards come up over the past few sets that you like exchange control. Well, they yeah they've done it a lot, but they've never done it for three, and then like that's that's, that's I pretty mean, crazy. Still there, still something permanently for three. That's yeah. really good. I think the other things are like an artifact that you exchange it. So yeah, or like a creature that you got to get through combat or untap or yeah. something. Yeah. So but that just does it. Just like, oh hey, that's a really fancy planeswalker you got. I'm gonna give you my um, shitty one that's got one counter left on it. <clears throat> No, oh, but anyway, Mythic Edition. So, uh, it went live. Uh, if you don't know what Mythic Edition is, it's a 24 card uh, box of War of the Spark, but you're guaranteed a full art Mythic foil uh, Planeswalkers from past sets, and then, then the two, two of the big ones from this one are in it. Um, and uh, they sell them, Hasbro sells them, this time they're selling them directly through their eBay site. And they sell for 250 a box. Um, the current one has reprint foil, full art versions uh, of um, Ugin the Spirit Dragon and Jace the Mind Sculptor. Which, uh, I don't know exactly where they are on the list, but <clears throat> that's actually seeing some play in standard right now. But they, uh, they're like... Two of the top five, I think Jace is the top, two of the top five uh, most expensive Planeswalkers. So, even if you didn't already want the Mythic Edition, you definitely wanted it, right? I mean, if you had the money to spend. Oh, and if, I mean, some people have, like, moral objections to it, and I don't think they're wrong. <laughs> well, I don't think they're wrong. It's, it's a cash grab. No, yeah. It's, it's a way for them to charge you $250 for essentially eight, eight cards, which is, you know kind of poopy but anyway uh it went live on the hasbro website or ebay store yesterday at noon it sold out in like five minutes um the word on the street and this is the version i'm going to go with until someone you know proves me wrong is that and all right it's a good one uh that wizards forgot to add um, sales tax, right? And that checks with everything experience. So I got one, um, I, I got two, and then uh, Ben and Billy were in the process of getting two. Um, Billy's timed out. Ben, they went into some weird stuff over PayPal, and that was another thing of it. There were people that, like, have had no trouble using PayPal or PayPal credit for years that were getting denied trying to buy this product yesterday, which is, yeah, and I even emailed uh, Hasbro before, I'm like, do you have any, like, buyer or any kind of special requirements for your page for new users? And they said no. Um, so it's very weird that that was going on. Uh, but anyway, ooh, a foil elite guard. But I'm sure, like, I mean, there is probably, like, thousands of people getting on to... Oh, yeah, but that message... <clears throat> yeah, but, well, anyway, they canceled... All, all the people who, like, got on at midnight, or at midnight, at noon... You know, see my time schedule, I can choose midnight at noon. <laughs> um, we... <laughs> Time. That's me, no, that's me all the time, people are like, you mean, yeah, uh, but anyway, all the people who got on, like, you know, took, took their, got their noon work break, or got, um, you know, woke up because they work at nights, or whatever, everyone who did that, their order was canceled, because the Hasbro, 
uh, eBay store forgot to charge sales tax and they didn't want to have to eat the you know 25 to between 12 and 25 dollars a box sales tax that you would have to eat so they canceled all the original orders right and then put it back up <coughs> what yeah and so but when the, did it go back up uh like 20 minutes later my order ended <laughs> up going through at 12 24. um but when they put it back up the second time apparently they forgot to or because of like ebay or whatever it, they didn't have the limit to per customers so uh, people were ordering like, uh, like 20 or whatever yeah like way more than they and that and those people are asses you know what i mean yeah. because if you were on it at that point and you knew like it, it, how rare it was and that it was limited to 12,000 like you knew it was limited to two you know you knew that you knew that's what they said so you thinking like oh they, they sold me 10 like especially if you had just like gotten back on because they canceled your first order yeah you know you knew they were going to cancel it so like why why be a douche why be a douche and be like oh i have 2500 dollars i can just you know throw it fucking cardboard freaking a -ham. yeah so then they canceled those orders <laughs> right the, the i don't know if they canceled anyone I'm not exactly sure how the second wave worked because I woke up in the third wave. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not as sure if they canceled everyone who ordered one in the second wave, or they just canceled everyone. That's who, like an excessive order. Who ordered over two? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Um, but then there was the third wave. The third, uh, or maybe the second. I don't know. Sure. Again, I'm not exactly sure how it worked. Maybe the set. The second wave was the final wave. And they just canceled everyone over ordered over ten, or maybe they took it down, canceled everyone from the. I don't. I don't know exactly how that worked because I was basically like getting back on at that time. I had gotten mine in the first wave. Uh, ben and Billy hadn't gotten theirs, and I thought that oh well, you know, uh, I got mine. They didn't get theirs. That sucks for them, but it's done. And then I got on just as a whim to check, and yeah, there was no record of my original purchase. But I still had two in two in my cart on my phone, which was interesting because I had done the whole first transaction on my computer. Um, oh, that's a two dollar uncommon right there. She's going for like two, three bucks. Ooh, She's a good one, yeah. I'm glad I got one Elder of those. Spell. Yeah. Fuck that card. It's a good card. So, it's a great card. <laughs> so Billy couldn't get uh, hers the first time. The second time after I got mine. I uh, I rushed in and I got two on hers, so we ended up getting two on uh, her account. <coughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so we're, we'll get we'll get four, and I'll probably sell them as a a group of four on eBay for some crazy amount. They were like two two fifty, right? Yeah, two fifty each. Yeah. So <clears throat> I do have four confirmed, but then okay. So then, on the on the um, site page, mm -hmm. um, you know the Hasbro where it shows the thing to everyone. Uh, it shows like how many are sold and how many views an hour and all that stuff. Yeah. On that, it showed that over like forty five thousand were sold. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, and that and honestly, I think that's just because it showed all the ones that have been canceled. canceled. <laughs> that but, makes sense. Um, a very famous uh, YouTuber, uh, Rudy, on Alpha Investments, went on, and I don't know if he, that's a really good comment too, I don't know if he uh, explicitly said, I, I watched the video, he didn't like explicitly say it, but he implied very, he implied very strongly that uh, it was possible that Wizards was bunking the, um, I haven't got a mythic yet. That was Wizards was uh, not going to honor the twelve thousand print run, right? And then people started to lose their goddamn <laughs> mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it led to like a whole bunch of like stuff to the point where eBay <laughs> had to release a statement. 
basically saying that there will only be, there will only like twelve thousand are only going to be sold, and uh, if. If you don't get your box, you'll get your money back. You yeah. know, and I and I'm assuming they're saying everyone right now who has, you know, a fulfilled order, um, <clears throat> is getting a box. That's that's my understanding. But there's people saying that there's probably still a good chance that some orders get canceled. Um, I don't know. There's there's only one way to you know only one way to tell on that, and that's you know wait and see. Um, like a common. A lot of uh, these openings, guys, don't show the commons. I like to, especially because I'm looking for misprints and like when I go through Good draft the, ideas. <laughs> well, yeah, and when I go through these commons, I will set aside like uh, condition plan and uh, the grim initiate. I will set those aside and not sell them as bulk early on <clears throat> because. Uh, um, Proliferate draw card. Can't say anything. We haven't got a mythic yet. Um, <coughs> because uh, out of the gate, no common's going to be worth money. No common's going to be. I mean, you can sell them for like play sets and get you know a dollar or two. But uh, but after time passes and packs get opened, some commons do ra uh, rise in value. Like, uh, the, there's two good examples of what I'm talking about. Or there's three good examples of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Especially um, ones that are getting standard, the standard. Yeah. Uh, and a uh, set like this, it's going to be opened so much. There's going to be times when you can get these playable commons on eBay for, like, a penny. Like, literally a penny. And, like, that... Oh! Your first $2 Mythic news. Nice. Is, oh is yeah, back from the dead. A read more. Um, yeah, and I've actually managed to make money on a few of those, like on um, Battle for Zendikar. Um, there were a few. I I forget. All I, Deathless Behemoth was one of them. Deathless, and it was an uncommon, and it was selling at like. Uh, oh, the other one was the. It Kozlix Chandler, the the four four that you could tap for two. Ooh. I picked up like a hundred each of those at a penny, nice. a piece, you know, and that's that's two dollars, you know, and I was able to then like sell them for uh, play sets for, you know, two bucks a pop because the cards are actually relevant in the meta at the time. Two hundred and fifty percent, or <laughs> no, uh, twenty five. <laughs> that's 100%, 2,500%. 250% yeah. profit at a quarter a piece. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, and a lot of people say that commons aren't uh, investable. They totally are. You just have to know. You have, just have to strike when they're at their absolute bottom. And War of the Spark, in a couple weeks, you're probably going to be able to get any common in this set for a penny or two on uh, TCG. And if there's one you think that's going to see play, I would recommend doing it. Uncommons, too. Uncommons, like, I do a lot of spec investments, and my biggest, my biggest win, uh, two of my biggest wins have been Uncommons. Um, uh, Chart of Course being the last one. I bought those up at, like, 15, 25 cents a pop, and, uh, right before they were reprinted in the Challenger deck, they were going for like three dollars a pop, and uh, I, you know, obviously I sold them all off before the Challenger deck or before the Challenger deck hit, because I, I knew there was a possibility that they would be reprinted in the Challenger deck. Um, now they're worth like sixty cents or whatever, but still, like I, I paid fifteen to twenty-five cents for about two, three hundred, and then I sold them off between a dollar and three dollars. That's Pretty good profit. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ob's cruelty. That's that's just good removal. I mean, maybe not standard legacy vintage, but every other, every other format. Minus five, minus five. Yeah. Can't really say no to that. Oh. Chandra. So uh, I think the 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 whole no. Um, We've gotten one. Oh, one I was gonna say we only got one pack left. We only got one minute. 
<coughs> and a lot of people are saying that this uh, Lord of Spark might be mappable because of the way the pack breakdown is, and a lot of play people are saying that, um, especially since the one planeswalker per pack. And then yeah, well, a lot of people are saying that it's like when it, when your mythics in the mythic slot, it's like you either get gods or you get finales, like which is uh. Like, they're saying, like, there's the finale box where your mythics are finales, and there's, like, the god box where your mythics are gods. And it is going to really suck if this is mappable. Do you know what mappable? Mappable is, like, where... Yeah, where you can, like, op uh, open one pack and then know the rest of the box. Yeah, I know what the rest of your rares are going to be, basically. That's, a good, that's another one of the good comms in this set that's probably going to see some play. Especially since they didn't add that extra slot too, and they have to put one planeswalker per each thing. It's I like it. Every pack we've opened so far, I've only seen one planeswalker. Yeah, it's yeah, it's looking like there's not going to be any uh, four, four, three or four planeswalker packs in this, which is a shame. Yeah, this box, man. I mean, we've gotten some decent stuff, but I mean, I guess you got to get the shitty ones out of the way. Still got a, a, a stack of packs. Oh, 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 there's a good go, taffy. $15, $20 rare. The old Taffy right there. Stud. He's annoying. Yeah, annoying that, card, that card's so good. <laughs> that card's so good. <clears throat> it's just like that Elder Spell. Yeah, I was playing Arena and I had someone play it on me, and it's just like, oh, sweet. Like. Your planeswalker yeah. has like four counters on it, extra it's, counters on it now. <laughs> like, I mean, there's so much hype surrounding that card. Um, there's a lot of great black removal, uh, yeah. even on the common and uncommon level, um, that can do stuff like not only to creatures and planeswalkers, uh, or yeah, but basically to both of them. Yeah, I feel like Elder Spell. Uh, there's, it's not going to live up to the original pre-sell hype uh, at first, and it's going to drop in price, and then it's going to fucking rebound like crazy. I feel like it's going to be a standard staple, so people are definitely going to want to... Um, I don't know. if it, it might be a standard staple. It's a sideboard staple.